Hey guys, sorry for the setup. Um, I came home and my laptop was on the dining room table and I just, you know, opened it and started going because I have a lot of books to review because I haven't made a review in a long time. So I'm just going to jump right into it and today's book is Lament by Maggie C. Vaughn. She's also the author, <laughs> She's also the author of um, Shiver and Linger, the um, Wolves of Mercy Falls series. Good stuff. And let me just tell you, this book is just as good as Shiver, if not better. What surprised me is that it is a fairy book, and I do not like the fairy genre. I've never liked it. I've never understood it. There's too many, you know, little details and terms and rules and all this stuff that goes into fairiness that I just don't, one, I don't like, two, I don't relate to, and three, it just doesn't appeal to me. But I have been finding myself drawn to a couple of fairy novels so far that are not so old-timey fairies, if you say so. That's, that's my dog in the background. Caillou! But this book, I think you guys should read it if you have not already read it. It's about a um, 16-year-old Deirdre, and she is a musician. She plays the harp. And through a recital, she meets this boy called named Luke. And Luke, of course, is gorgeous and mysterious and, oh, so wonderful. From the recital, they start to hang out more, and he just you know, appears in her life and she starts having this like draw towards him. Meanwhile, um, she starts getting all these four leaf clovers. And if you guys are, you know, human, you know that four leaf clovers are lucky and very rare and all that good stuff. So she's like, why do I keep getting these four leaf clovers? And meanwhile, Luke is just like, he doesn't seem pleased that she's getting any of these clovers. And he's like, let me have that. Give me it. And she's finding them everywhere, like in her jean pockets, um, on the dining room table, all this stuff. So he's really mad about this stuff. The plot just has to do with her, you know, finding out what Luke is. The guy has all this stuff trailing behind him that she gets sucked into. Um, it's really good, though. It's, you know, she finds out this world of Faye, but it's not... This is what I love about the book. It has to do with Faye in the most tiniest way. There's not, there's a queen, there's a fairy queen, and there's little like minions and evil things and dogs that are like wolves, I don't know, like little tiny creatures. But there's not like all these rules and all these like ceremonies and talking about really gruesome, nasty stuff that most fairy novels do. Um, the plot's pretty light. It doesn't, I think there's another book, Ballad, but I'm not sure if it's a continuation of this novel. I think it's another story. This novel by itself is really good. That's that go on. Okay, so she meets Luke at a recital. As I mentioned before, it's like she sees the clover things. Turns out Clovis, clo Clovis, <laughs> turns out Clovis, um, for leaf Clovis, um, specifically are good for seeing fairies. So if she has them, she can see fairies. And that's where like this bad ginger guy comes in and he's like not fun at all and all these little like people trying to kill her there's always she looks left and right and people are trying to kill her like animals and all that but it's not like gruesome it's done in a way that like surprises you and yet isn't that bad if you're into fairies i'm sure you've already read this book because it has fairy stuff in it meanwhile i've said meanwhile like 15 times so on the side Deirdre has this best friend named James, and he's like, you know, a really fun best friend. Her only friend really gets her. During the novel, he shows some more and more interest into her and everything. And he end up, spoiler alert, he end up getting, he end up get, oh my god, he ends up getting hurt. The climax of the novel is to save him, you know, and um, Luke tells her what he is. He's not exactly a fae. Um, I'm not spoiling anything, but he is something, and he's done something in the past that's bad, and she has to get through that, but also the main thing is to save her friend James or save, um, what's-his-face, Luke. So that's the whole, you know, big plot and everything. And in the end, you know, it's a, it's a nice ending. Kind of, It's kind of sad. Overall, I really like this book. It does lack a plot. Um, it's not one of those books that you can go so into detail with and talk about um, this and that and, uh, you know, review with your friends and, like, say your favorite part and, well, maybe. But it's not one of those books that has that much detail, I mean, that much plot in it. it. Actually, for me, it's kind of hard to see what the whole plot is. Like, the whole plot is just one little thing. I mean, once you get through all these little, um, boundaries, sort of, you, you know, you can get to it. And it's pretty simple at the end. Um, but... If you've read this book, you know how great it is. If you haven't, I highly recommend it. I gave it 
four to four and a half stars. Um, and that's that's a pretty high rating for me because I'm very picky and very, like, I see a lot of things wrong with books. So when I say I get four stars, it deserves four stars. Um, well, that's my pay. I think that everyone should read this book. The only thing that I had a problem with is the music theme in this book. There is everything to do with music. Because apparently fairies, like, their center of their world is music. I don't know. I'm not Irish. I don't have any idea. I played the flute for a long time. I knew how to play the flute, and I hated it. I hated playing the flute every single second of my life. I don't, I don't relate with music at all. Like, if a song's catchy, like, I can listen to Safety Dance, that 80s song, every day for the rest of my life if I could. But that's, <laughs> that's my brand of music. I very, I'm not a musical person. That's the only, that is honestly the only thing I had, like, beef with. Was it? I can't talk! That is the only thing that I uh, did understand in this book. But everything else is so understandable, especially for me that I don't get anything that has to do with fairies. So um, go pick it up if you haven't read it. And if you have read it, leave it in the comments about how awesome you thought it was. And um, I'll see you guys next time.